and welcome to Visual Basic Stock Control System. Um, let me show you how this uh, system works. Right there, I do have uh, a search facility. So let's say I want to check the stock that have like ten or eleven. Just click on that, and those are the stock with eleven. Okay, let's say reorder or maybe maximum stock let's say we go for 30 stock that are maximum just click on that there we go and that include beans potato onions and so on and we can also search by let's say vegetable we can go for potato and that those are there we go those are the potato that we have in there now we can even find who are the customer that uh, or that potato and so on in this very stock control system okay and we can navigate okay because everything happens to be in a database so we can navigate which makes life easy and um, search as you can see so what I will do now is to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we put one of these together using access database okay I'll start by clicking on my access database here and um, let's name the file I'll just call it let's go for the title now select where I'll be saving the file let's save it right on my desktop and change it to that and uh, click on OK then let's create this database there I don't I'm not gonna be creating database so I'll just be using my data that I have in here there we go those are the data all I need to do is to import all of this onto the system me show you the other one okay so you can always create a data like this okay you can see how it's done it's easy there we go guys so I'm gonna just close that now come to external data right there select text file browse now let's browse to where have my data that's it right in there select the category and click on okay the catalog I mean and then just click on OK and now the next thing is for us to make sure the limited is selected click on next and then select first row to be the title now click on next now let's select our primary key so the item ID will be the primary key for this one click on next and let's just finish it up with that so that's the first one taken care of let's repeat the same thing for the second one which is supposed to be the customer information and click on OK click on next select the rows and click on next Let's select our primary key next and finish. Then click on OK. Repeat exactly the same thing for the third one here. That's the details. And click on OK. Click on next. Select the rows. Click on next. And next again, let's select primary key here other ID is the primary key click on next finish and in this case there's no primary key so we're gonna accept that I'll just set it as a comp compound key I think I'll repeat the same thing for the other one okay next for the order click on OK click on next select the row next next no primary key because I'll I'll create that manually 
by selecting two of those let's click on close now these two tables here let's come go back home here and select design view and the design view I'll just select both of them to be my primary key that makes it compound or compose key and that is fine so I'm going to save that now let's select the other one and let's go to the design view select both customer and the other ID with that compound key and then that is fine okay that's fine now the next thing we want to do is to let's, let's create a query so I'll select those one two three and there there I have my query okay close this so let's create a relationship so some of you guys might be very good at using access I won't call myself an expert on it but I'm not doing too bad okay that's fine so let's connect that to that because there's a relationship between the catalog and the details here then the next one is let's look at the customer that's a customer there and here we have all that right there so that is fine so with the catalog let's just double click on that to have all of those items on board repeat the same thing here name then we have price and size stock level order and we have maximum stock okay all I just need here is the quantity then what about the date let's go for the date here okay let's go for the customer ID customer name and yeah let's go for the customer postcode okay title address and postcode everything is there so if we run it now okay we have this because the table is already open let's close the tables there they are let's close them and close this one as well all right so let's i don't need this close that okay okay let's run the query again there we go that's the query so what i will do now is just save that very query let's just call it Title. yeah that's fine click on ok there now that my query is ready I'm going to close, the, close that alright let's close that ok now we are in visual basic let's click on new project and let's give our project a name so I'm just going to call that vb underscore stock score control there all right save our file since the form is ready now let's go to the property of the form right here and just change that to 1368 and let's change this to 700 there the next thing I want to do is to go straight into the project and select add new data source. Now click on next, make sure the database is selected, click on next and click on uh, next since uh, the data set is selected as well. Now we need to locate our file. So let's come in here, make sure the access database file is selected. So let's come in and browse for the access database there we go that's it right there click on open i'm going to delete the admin i don't need that then connect let's test it and make sure it's working fine that's good all right click on ok now click on next this is just to it is just informing you to make sure the uh, the access database that you just created or that we've just created is added onto the project file so we click on ok 
so we'll click on next and there we have the tables those are the tables i'll select the table and right underneath here is my query i'm going to select that as well click on finish now the next thing we need to do is to come to data data source okay there we go we have the query and all my tables there if you can find your data source your data source should be visible inside the visible uh, the view and you come right down here where it says other windows then scroll right up you see your data source there that's it so now click on that and just select data grid view and just drag that place it on board and there we have our data grid view you can see the, nav uh, the navigator right there that is the binding navigator right there I'm just gonna drag this off about that the next thing I want to do now is Green view now details let's go for the details but before that let's move this down a little bit let's move it down and then the details come right here select details drag details on board and there we go we have our details maybe we need to move this let's move this away for now maybe bring it down take care of the details first okay so just rearrange everything and let me get back to you guys as soon as I finish the rearrangement of this okay we get one more here alright let's see the other ones Okay, bring it down. Yeah, that's fine. That is a okay. All right. Yeah, that's easy. Take that up. Okay. That is fine. So let's add. Let's add a title. I just need a panel. Let's come right there. P. There we go. Okay, have my panel there. Bring this here. There. Drag this up. Off about that. I think the panel. Let's change that to control dark dark. Control dark dark. There we go. And go back to toolbox. Select label. And on the label, let's change the font color of the label to control light light. And here we change the content of the label to stock stock control system or oh, management system. Let's management system stock. No, stock control system is fine. Yeah. There. And let's increase the font size of that. Let's change that to maybe 48. There. Okay. Maybe we should even increase the font of this a little bit. So it's going to take some time to put it all together. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, that will do. Let's move this. Yeah. Repeat the same thing for this. Move it. Okay, that's fine. That's much better. Alright. That's much better. If I run it, this is how the whole system will look like. Right there, guys. This is how it looks like when we can navigate with this. We can do whatever we like with this right so what is left for us to do now is uh, in here we need to add a session facility for this top control system so right up here i want to click on that and select let's select say a label on the label we just call it session let's type in session there Spell. 
right so we have search in there and here let's enter let's enter a combo box we have our combo box here and right beside the combo box we need a text box and right beside the text box let's get a button in place there for the button that's the button right there let me change the image let's look for some some other type of image it's coming here and right there okay right in here I should get some funny images that I can use let's come right in here okay that will do yeah that's fine so that's my that's the image for the button so when I click on that that takes me to the search facility okay let's give them a name this one will become let's call that txt search right and this this will become cmd search cmd let's paste that and just cancel search okay there they all have their own name so that's fine and this let's call that btn btn search there now the next thing we need to do is double click on the form and right in here in the form load we enter as follows okay so when we run it this should appear on the combo box so we drop that down there we go guys so we can just search those now the next thing we want to do is enter some lines of code in here so that we can search so let's double click on this search button itself so let's give this search button a name here we just call this double click on it right in here and that's all there is to it so if I run my system now okay let's move this up let's say we want to search for as follows let's go for some vegetable let's say potato and click on the search facility so right there you can see the potato content they all display themselves and suppose we change it to maybe beans and search there we go guys those are the beans that we have okay let's say we change maximum we want to look for the ones with 30 there we go those are the 30 stocks that we have and let's say the minimum stock happens to be 11 we can just search for there we go okay guys and uh, all we just need to do now is just to tidy up the system and we run it one more time so let's move this up a little bit okay and what about this that looks yeah okay maybe move this all right let's call this move that in a bit a little bit make it look a bit decent and that is it guys that's how you create your own stock management system you can always improve on this there guys that's your stock control system so with that I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial, I suppose you all enjoy it, so you all have a nice one, and please do subscribe, bye for now.